How's it going guys? Chips here with you again. And today we are back doing another Arc Survival Evolved Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're going to be building a snow owl enclosure, which I tried to make look like kind of a birdhouse. That's the, you know, the design I was going for, the look I was going for was very much like a birdhouse. And this build was something that was requested by one of my subscribers, Moon Assassin. So I first wanted to say thank you for requesting it and I hope you enjoy. I hope you get what you're looking for out of it. And for anybody who's watching this video, you know, just thank you for checking it out today, guys. Regardless of how you came about it, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're checking it out. If you guys do enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. Obviously, leave me some comments on what you think. And guys, go ahead and subscribe for future builds and some future videos. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to build our foundation of our build. So to do this, we're gonna start by placing a row of 11 stone triangle foundations. Just straight in a line. Now that you have this complete, go ahead and add another row of 11 more stone triangle foundations. Next, you will add a row of nine stone triangle foundations. And then a row of seven stone triangle foundations. Then just go ahead to the other side and add one more row of nine and one more row of seven. This completes the base of our build. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video now and copy what we have so far. Now on whichever side will be the front of your build, add a double wooden door frame to this position. Make sure that it's facing with the dark wood towards the outside. Then add a double reinforced door inside. Next, come over here and add two wooden window frames. Again, with a dark wood facing out. Turn this corner and place two more wooden window frames. Turn this corner and continue. Do this until you reach where you place the door. That complete, we should have something that looks like this. Let's head back in and place two wooden walls on top of each of these. Next, place a wooden window frame here and then leave a gap at this spot. This is above where our door is. Go around and place a row of wooden window frames. Then add two wooden walls above each wooden window frame. Here is just a quick look at what we have so far. Next, here on the front side of our build, we are going to place a wooden fence foundation on this stone triangle foundation, as well as this one. Once we have those placed, we're going to go ahead and place a stone pillar and three wooden pillars on each of the corners. So one on that side and one on this side. Next, we'll come over here to this side and we'll place another wooden fence foundation. However, this time, make sure you place it on the inline. Place another stone and three more wood pillars. And the reason we placed the fence foundation that way is so that we can snap our pillars so that they're facing the same direction. Next, come around here to the back and again, place a wooden fence foundation on this foundation and this foundation. And then just like in the front, Put a stone pillar and three wood pillars on each corner. And again, come to this side, snap a wooden fence foundation on the inline, and then add one more stone and three more wood pillars. Mm -hmm. 
For this next portion, it's very important that you follow along and place these fence foundations and pillars in the exact way that I am. So starting on this front corner, let's place a fence foundation on this inline between the pillar and the corner of our wall. Now place six wooden pillars and we're gonna have them so that the flat side is on the corner. So it should be kind of flat side on the corner and then the corner of the pillar should be facing off and add six of those. So we'll have something like that. Again, the flat side of the pillar will be on the corner. Add another fence foundation here under this window and just place six more wood pillars straight up the middle of our wall. Again, the flat side of the pillars will be facing out, so it'll, it'll look flat against the wall. Then coming over to this corner, we're going to place another fence foundation between the pillar and the corner of the wall. And again, you might have to rotate the snap point to get the flat side of the pillar to place flat along the corner. And then just add five more so you have six total. And that'll give us a look that looks something like this. Coming over here to the side, again in the middle of our wall, we're going to place the foundation under the window and just add six more flat. The middle of the walls will always look kind of straight like that. Here we don't need to do anything because we already have a fence foundation, so just go ahead and snap the pillar so that the flat side is on the corner again. And at this point you guys should have a pretty good idea of what we're doing, so go ahead and just do this for the rest of the build. The next thing we're going to do is to fill in this first floor ceiling and also to create our balcony around that level. So first just come to the inside here and we're just going to fill this entire area in with wooden triangle ceilings. I like to do the outside rim first and then I fill in the middle. You could also if you want you could leave the middle portion open and have a ladder down to get up here. Now here on the outside, we're just going to place a ring of wooden triangle ceilings around the outside edge. So just go all the way around with wooden triangle ceilings. Next, let's add three regular wooden ceilings on this flat side here. And then to round the corner, use another wooden triangle ceiling and complete this step all the way around the build. Now let's add some railings to our balcony. Starting with this pillar, we're going to add a railing on each of the inlines facing the pillar. We're also going to add a railing on the outside of this ceiling, making kind of a triangle look. Now on this normal ceiling, add one more railing. Leave this middle one here open and add another railing on this ceiling. Again, add them on the inlines of this triangle to complete another triangle. And this is going to kind of make the look that we're going to go with on each side. So just go around the build and continue to do this.
Now, before we add railings to our first level, come to the front here and just add three stone stairs. Then go ahead and put a railing on each side of the stairs. And then just go around the build and add railings all the way around. Finally, the last thing we need to do for our build is to add a roof. So let's go ahead in here, and the first thing we're going to do is on the inside of these walls, we're going to add a line of metal triangle ceilings. So just go ahead and go all the way around and add a line of these. Then before we continue with the roof, go ahead and come to this open gap here and just add one wood wall at the top. We only need it to be too high to get our snow owls in. Then continuing with the roof, go ahead and add a metal triangle roof, not ceiling, roof on the edge of each of the walls. So you're going to have them kind of pointing up into the build. You might have to rotate your snap point a lot. This can be kind of frustrating. Just go ahead, get them to work and go all the way around the build and add these in. You want it to kind of look like a sloped in design going upward. So do this all the way around the roof. Okay, sorry, I know that can be kind of frustrating, but now we have it done. Let's go ahead and add a metal wall on the inside here. You're going to be snapping them onto the metal triangle ceilings that we placed first. So go ahead and just add metal walls all the way around. And then once you have these placed, go ahead and fill in this gap with more metal triangle ceilings. Now with those placed, go ahead and find a line that is straight in the middle of the build. So this one here will work. And we're going to place a wooden fence foundation right here. So like that. Then on top of that wooden fence foundation, just place two wooden pillars. And once you have those two wooden pillars placed, we're gonna go ahead and add more metal triangle roofs. They should be a lot easier to snap this time. Just add them all the way around. So that does it for the building portion of this build, guys. For the paint job, I'm going to go ahead and paint all of the wood with white. I'm going to leave the stone alone. I think it looks good how it is. And I'm going to paint the roof with the cantaloupe color. However, you can paint the roof really whatever color you want. I just think the orange and the white look good together. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to add some decorations. Stick around for a few more seconds, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and done the paint job and I've added some decorations and I've also brought some snow owls out. So like I said, for the paint job, it's just white on all the wood, cantaloupe on the roof, and then I left the stone alone. For the snow owls, I have them positioned right now, one in pretty much every other spot, and then I have the front open. So I kind of left a gap on the middle there where you can get them out. You could cram a little bit more in. If you wanted, you could do three on each side, fill up the front, you could put some on the inside even. Uh, but how I have it, it basically fills out to being 10 snow owls here on the top. But like I said, you can fit more. You can probably get it closer to somewhere around 20. Now for the inside of this second floor, I basically am using this area as somewhat storage and then also just to feed our snow owls. Um, but like I said, you could fit some more snow owls in here if you really wanted to. But I basically just put some feeding troughs, some storage, and then we have our chimney poking through from downstairs. But let's go ahead and go downstairs now. Um, and the first thing that we have here is on the outside, I've just placed benches all the way around just for some you know, outdoor seating for us. I built this inside room out to be kind of a bedroom for whoever owns these owls. You don't have to do it like that. Obviously, I'm just giving you some idea of what you could do for decorations. I built it as kind of a bedroom where you could come chill. You have you know, a fireplace, a table, your bed and then you have your snow owls up above you. 
but you could also open up the front door here and get some more schnoz in here if you really wanted to. But all right, guys, that is going to be it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy to follow along, and I hope you get some good use out of this little snow owl birdhouse that we built today. Do me a favor, guys, if you did enjoy the video and you plan on using the build, leave me a like below. Go ahead and leave me some comments on what you think about the video and the build. And of course, guys, subscribe to the channel for future builds and also some other future gaming videos that I'm working on outside of Ark Survival Evolved. Also, guys, go ahead and check out the Twitter in the description below. I would love for you guys to send me some pictures of this build on your Ark. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.